hi and welcome back to another video in today's video let's take a look at some few things you can do before you get started with your building here in ghana let's get into the video So the first one will be finding nearest places where you'll be able to purchase building materials for your building project. You can do this by scouting around the location, asking people where building materials are sold, and then you're able to find uh, such places. Now, when you find nearest places, you are able to cut down cost in terms of transportation. That is, if you are going to be purchasing from um, a very far place, um, as to where your building is going to be done and also bear in mind that you shouldn't find just a single place where you're going to be purchasing building materials from it should be multiple places so as we spoke in one of uh, my videos where if you have multiple vendors you're able to you know always find out best prices and then you are able to make your purchase so yes so scout around ask people around where building materials are sold very close to where your building is going to be done and uh, find multiple you know place of purchase so that at the end of the day you're able to cut down on cost so the next one will be to have your land cleared and leveled if required now depending on where you're going to have your building done or constructed depending on the nature of the place whether it's a bushy place uh, whether there are some trees you need to pull some down whether it's a mountainous area at the end of the day you might want to have the place cleared as well as leveled now if the clearing or the leveling is going to be done it is important to also take into consideration the nature of the land if there is a slope in the land let's say the slope goes like this you wouldn't want uh, the clearing of the land also to be done this way instead you would rather want to have it done across now this is going to help prevent or minimize erosion because once the land slopes this way and you also go ahead to clear it this way at the end of the day once it rains the rain is going to wash or the water is going to be washed uh, washing the soil down this way just along uh, the slope of the land so it's important to take that into consideration if there isn't so much slope where you're able to have some level done it is also important to have it done properly so that at the end of the day uh you don't you know end up still losing you know soil or sand once it rains washing the soil away and of course doing the clearing or leveling of the place it can be done with a bulldozer or a hula loader, depending on where what is accessible or closer to where your building is going to be done and uh, as of now depending on the location will also determine the price that is going to cost around here it's going to be around between 1200 to 1400 for a plot of land and sometimes you're also able to you know negotiate with them if you have a bigger size of place that has to be clear so maybe about four plots two plots three plots then you're able to negotiate and get a good price or rate for that as part of that also depending on where your your plot or your land is located if there isn't any path that leads there you probably would want to talk to them so they are able to create a path that leads to the place so that it's easier to uh, have building materials or things uh, resources brought to the location so yes yeah, so this step is or this step is having your land cleared as well as leveled if it is necessary or required in your state the next one will be to test the soil if it is required as well now this is going to come in handy depending on the type of building you want to construct so let's say you want to construct a story building maybe two story three story and on and on at the end of the day it is important to be able to test the soil to be able to determine the bearing capacity of the soil as to uh, what level or how is he able to handle let's say a certain type of weight and so on and once you're able to do that and you get you know the clearance to be able to go ahead to build then you are good to go but if you don't go ahead to test the soil to know its bearing capacity its moisture level and all those things at the end of the day you might be finding yourself wanting after you go ahead to construct your building and then you notice that there's some challenges and it's important to have the soil test uh, depending on the type of building you want to construct and even if it's just a normal size building also doing some soil test 
at uh, some point is going to help you determine how you should construct a building where at which point you should construct a building so after going through the steps or processes shared earlier that is scouting for places where you can purchase building materials also um, looking at clearing of the land or leveling it as well as having the soil tested Another important aspect is also looking at where you can store your building materials and even if you have workers coming from afar, where they are going to sleep. So this brings us to a uh, place of storage. Now, one way you can go about place of storage is having a wooden structure constructed. In our case, we had a wooden structure constructed first, and then the next one was to bring in a shipping container. So a shipping container is very much secured. That is, if you can afford to have that, then that would be good to go so that you'll be able to keep your building materials in it and then lock it so that no one will have access to it uh, to, you know, steal your building material. So that is very important. And also, in the case of where you're going to have your uh, your workers sleeping uh you can look at the nearest place of uh, maybe guest house that is if you can afford or you can also go into uh, a small construction of wooden structure where they can sleep in or if you have a bigger uh, shipping container then you can divide it into maybe two parts where one part is going to be where the workers are going to sleep and then the other part is going to be where materials as well as tools are going to be stored so yes it's very important to have a place of storage at your construction site so that you don't always have to go and be purchasing materials and bits you can purchase in bulk store them in your storage area or storage locations so that whatever you need uh, these materials or tools you have access to them easily so yes that is having a place of storage at your location so as part of storage it is also important to have a water storage tank now this can be the already fabricated one that is um, the plastic one water storage tank the barrels or you construct your own water storage tank that is going to be done with blocks this is going to make it possible for you to be able to house water for your construction project you wouldn't want a situation that whenever you need water you always have to buy uh, for water to be brought to the site to be able to use it but instead if you have a water storage tank and you also even have those woody structures you can even add a rain gutter to it and then divert it or direct it into the water storage tank so that whenever it rains you are able to harvest rain water so it is important to have a water storage tank at your location so that that is going to save you some money especially purchasing water all the time so in our case We've had water storage tanks ever since we started with our building project. And even as my building is done now, we have the rain gutters connected to the water storage tank. So for some time now, it's been raining and we've not had to purchase water for our project because we have this rain water to be able to use for that. So that is the importance of having a water storage tank, which is going to save you some money, especially purchasing water all the time for your building project. Also, after that, you can look into the purchasing of uh, some tools for your construction project yes you might say well i'm getting workers to come work so what's the purpose of me going to buy some tools bear in mind that your workers are not going to be able to bring all the tools you need an example is going to be a whole barrel if you're going to be using whole barrel for some of the things that is going to be done the chances of your workers bringing some is very low especially if you are getting workers from afar so then it means you are going to be renting all the time now if you calculate what is going to cost you to rent for a certain period as to you purchasing your own you notice that purchasing your own will save you a lot of money so yes it is important to have some building material uh, building tools available at your construction site which is going to help you minimize some cost or save a lot of money um, if you should be um, renting some of those uh, building uh, tools. So this brings an end to this video. I hope you find these steps or tips or processes very useful. That is uh, looking at places where you can purchase building materials that is very close to where your construction is going to be done. Having your land cleared if it is necessary or required. Having your land tested, looking at the nature of the type of building you are going to construct. And then also having a storage area where you can have your building materials stored as well as having a place where you can have your workers sleep that is if they are coming from afar having a water storage tank to be able to store water for the project as well as purchasing some building materials that is going to be that is building tools that is going to be 
uh, you know, necessary as part of your project so you're able to save some money. So that's just about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it.